hello student welcome to all of you in the next phase lecture now i have to see here the next point in the chapter number 1 measurement the uses of the dimensional analysis what are the uses of the dimensional analysis the first use is that to find the uh, correctness of the physical quantities that means uh, we can show that the v is equal to the uh, the kinematical equations v is equal to u plus at s is equal to ut plus 1/2 at square or v square is equal to u square plus twice s this is very simple one you can uh, learn about this but this is a very important use of the dimension analysis that is nothing but to determine the conversion factor between the two units of the same physical quantity of uh, the two different system of the units that means we can find out the conversion factor between the two units just like we know that the 1 meter is equal to 100 cm then uh, we can write here the 10 raised to 2 is equal to 10 raised to 2 cm is equal to 1 meter like this we can find out this conversion factor 10 raised to 2 1 meter is equal to 10 raised to 2 cm then we have to find out here that the conversion factor like this 10 raised to 2 here uh, there are the mostly these two uh, problems you have to ask in your exam just like the 1 newton is equal to 10 raised to 5 dyne or second one is that the 1 joule is equal to 10 raised to 7 ergs both are the uh, having the unit of the same physical quantity like the force we know that the si unit of the force is the newton and she is unit is the dyne and this is the same physical quantity that is the force first of all you have to know that uh, this newton and dyne these are the si and the cgs unit of the quantity like the force then you can find out this conversion factor between them so we have to see here the how the conversion factor between the two units of the same physical quantities can be find out in your exam you have to ask the like that show that 1 newton is equal to 10 raised to 5 dyne that means this 10 raised to 5 is the conversion factor in between these two units like the si unit of the force is newton and cgs unit is dyne to convert this si into cgs to multiply this conversion factor 10 raised to 5 then you have to obtain the one newton for that purpose we have to take here consider the physical quantity that means the force this is very important then we know that the si unit and cgs unit of that quantity force you also well known that the si unit of the force is newton cgs unit of the force is dyne okay then this dimension of the also you have to well uh, uh, this uh, quantity force you know that the dimension of the force are l1 m1 t minus 2 we can uh, remember this f is equal to ma then the m and then the a acceleration l by t square therefore l1 m1 t minus 2 this is the dimension of the force then uh, we have to take here the x be the a conversion factor which can be the find out to conversion factor let x be the conversion factor between these two units of the same physical quantity like the force si unit and the cgs unit so that the x is the conversion factor therefore we can write x dyne we unknown this 10 raised to 5 we have to find out this 10 raised to 5 so we have to take here the x dyne is equal to 1 newton we have to take here x dyne which is unknown this conversion factor therefore we have to take here the x x dyne is equal to 1 newton then to find out this x we can write the dimension on the both sides this is very important and you have to also remember that this x dyne that means this left side is for the cgs unit and this is the newton then we have to take here the si unit ya tikani tumhi hi trick lakshat thevli pahije ki ya tikani dyne he cgs unit alyanantar cgs che unit apan ya tikani lele pahije आणि या ठिकाणी न्यूटन हे एस आय युनिट आल्यानंतर एस आय मधलेच युनिट आपण या ठिकाणी लिहिले पाहिजेत हे तुमच्या तुम्ही लक्षात घेणं गरजेचं आहे ठीक आहे देन वी हॅव टू राईट द डायमेन्शन ऑन द बोथ साईड्स वी नो दॅट द डायमेन्शन ऑफ द फोर्स आर एल वन एम वन टी मायनस टू वी कॅन राईट हिअर देन अगेन यू हॅव टू राईट एक्स ॲज इट इज एल वन एम वन टी मायनस टू 
is equal to 1 as it is then the right the dimension of the force which are the same on both side because this is the physical quantity same only the different units we have to take here this is the cgs and this is the si then dimension l1 m1 t minus 2 okay then we have to write here x l1 m1 t minus 2 sometimes you can write length you can write meter mass then you can write the kilogram but you have to remember again this is the cgs unit dyne is the cgs unit of the force therefore the length is measured in cgs unit centimeter rest to one mass is measured in cgs unit that is the gram gram rest to one and time is measured in second second rest to minus two again this length we have to measure it here in SI unit you remember this meter rest to one then mass is measured in SI unit kilogram therefore we can write the kilogram rest to one time both are the same in CGS or MKS second rest to minus two we have to find out the this factor X conversion factor S therefore X is as it is and this terms multiply take this side divide okay therefore x is equal to 1 as it is meter rest to 1 then this centimeter take this side divide centimeter rest to 1 meter rest to 1 upon centimeter rest to 1 again this kg rest to 1 this gram take this side divide kg rest to 1 gram rest to 1 second rest to minus 2 this take this side second rest to minus 2 both are the same quantity their second rest to minus 2 second rest to minus 2 cancel with it one another okay therefore remaining term is 1 upon 1 okay therefore this meter and centimeter kilogram gram these are the not same physical quantity therefore we have to convert the meter into centimeter same the kilogram into gram we know that 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter the instead of 1 meter we can write here 100 centimeter again rest to 1 then denominator is same as it is centimeter rest to 1 this centimeter is to 1, centimeter is to 1. This should be cancelled. Remaining term is only 100. Okay. Same like we know that 1 kg means what? 1000 gram. Therefore, substitute here instead of 1 kg, we can take here the 1000 gram rest to 1 upon gram rest to 1. These are the same gram rest to 1, gram rest to 1, which should be cancelled. And remaining term is only 1000. And this is the 1 upon 1. Okay. Therefore, x is equal to only 1 into 100 into 1000 into 1. Then we have to take here x is equal to this 100 means nothing but what? 10 raised to 2. We have to take here power 10 raised to 2. And we also know that this 1000 is also right in the form of the 10 raised to 3, 1 as it is. Then base same multiplication addition of the powers 2 plus 3, 5. Therefore, x is equal to 10 raised to 5. And this is nothing but the a conversion factor we have to find out. Let x be the conversion factor between the two units. We can find out. We have to find out this x is equal to 10 raised to 5. Substituting this, x dyne is equal to 1 newton. Therefore, instead of x, we can find out the 10 raised to 5. Therefore, 10 raised to 5 dyne is equal to 1 newton or 1 newton is equal to 10 raised to 5 dyne. And we can show that this 1 newton is equal to 10 raised to 5 dine, hence the proof. Okay. If you have to understand well, then we can stop here.